guys. Uh, just working on the car again. The latest little project is replacing all the O-rings on the cold start injector. Now the cold start injector is the injector that's mounted to the fuel rail here and into the intake here, just behind the distributor, which is usually here. It gets bolted right into here. It's a seventh fuel injector it's for cold starts uh, below, you know, freezing weather. Makes the car easier to start, you know, for however well it's supposed to work. <laughs> This is the O-ring kit from the Fiero store, which includes all the O-rings needed to replace, uh, to be replaced on the cold start injector. Now, this is just going to be a real quick overview on replacing the injector. This is the cold start injector. Has a few O-rings that need to be replaced. Now when you remove the injector assembly from the car, this is what you get. This is the line to the injector. Now in order to remove the injector from the line, you first have to bend this tab upward. Now let's see, this tab upward, usually it's bent down this this way meeting the body of the injector. You have to bend it upward so that you can spin the injector out and this is the only way it'll clear the injector connector here. Once you bend the tab up it's simply unscrewing the injector which is threaded into the housing on the line. Once you unscrew it Basically, the injector just pops right out. Don't try and just pull the injector out because you won't get it out that way and only damage the housing on the line. Now, once you get the injector out, the first O ring you're going to change is located inside the housing in a groove. Let me see if I can give you a little light on this. You see there's a small groove in there, that's where the O-ring sits, which seals the housing against the injector. Against the injector here. Now the next O-ring you're going to change is here on this portion of the injector. So there'll be a new O-ring in the housing to seal the top of the injector and another O-ring to seal the nozzle of the injector against the uh, intake. The Fiero Store kits brings this is for the housing, this is for the nozzle as you can see. Then there is a third O-ring Oh, actually, there's a third O-ring, which is this tiny one here, which comes in a separate package. And that one goes mounted on this side of the line. As it goes into the fuel rail. Just like the service manual shows you. It's uh, basically that simple. So you'll have one O-ring. Here with a line seat against the body of the fuel rail.
and uh, that's uh, pretty much it. That takes up uh, the entire installation of the cold start injector. All right, now I'm going to uh, get busy with putting it back together. And I'll see you in a little bit. All right, now we're back. The uh, O-rings on the injector has been changed. You can see the new one here. The other new one is inside the housing there. With the tank bent down to keep the injector from rotating completely. And it's ready for install into the vehicle. Now, um, this, the 88, I'm not sure of the other unit. The 88 has, this is the type of seal on the uh, 88 cold start injector. Not this one. I was mistaken the first time when I uh, pointed that out. I'm just correcting that now. But uh, that's it. She's all done and ready to be installed into the vehicle. Alright. Now we're going to move on to the fuel rail. That'll be the next job.